but every time I turn a corner, I'm like, oh. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, a little subject has been coming up uh, often. People ask me, it's come up in like uh, one of the chats I'm in, about guard work. Should you do guard work? Uh, I don't want to do guard work. What kind of guard work do I want? What do I need for this fitment, that fitment, etc., etc.? So, I figured we would jump on this morning, nice early on a Wednesday morning, and have a little chat about should, when, and how you should do guard work. So, let's jump on in. So, guard work, should you do it? Short version of this video, yeah, you should. See ya. All right, look, so in my opinion, yes, you should. Um, obviously, it comes down to scenario, just like a lot of things do. So, number one, if you're gonna be repainting your car, do your guard work, like 100% do your guard work, because one of the big, like, I guess, risks of doing guard work is that you're gonna crack your paint, or that you're gonna do it unevenly, and it's gonna kind of, you know, be rippled down the side of your car. Honestly, to do it like that, you've got to do it badly. I actually did it like that in my Supra years ago. It's all fixed now, obviously, because we painted it. But yeah, you can do that if you do it at home and you don't know what you're doing. So if you're going to do it at home and get a guard roller and etc., like I did on the BMW, just watch a couple videos and you'll be able to figure out how to do it, all right? But if you're going to be doing paint work, if you're going to go and do a whole paint job, blah, 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 yeah, do it. Because that risk of, oh, am I going to crack my paint? Who cares? You're about to paint the whole car. So get the guards done, get them rolled, get them perfect, get them as like aggressively as rolled as you can, and then paint the car. So in my head, you've kind of got, I guess, four stages of rolling or of guard work. So you've got, if that's the body of your car and that's the lip, you've got like factory, then you've got rolled, then you've got knife edged, then you've got knife edged and pumped, and then you've got cut, right? So you just cut the lip out completely, like in the back of the crown. Now, obviously you've got like different variations for the different aggressiveness of what you want. And the whole reason behind it is what wheels can you fit? Now, I've given you guys the Fender filler fitment for a couple of cars, and obviously I'm gonna keep doing that with more, but the given like obvious rule is, if you're rolling a lowered car and you have aggressive fitment and you don't have guard work, if you like turn your wheel that's super close to your guard, if it's tucking a little bit, is gonna come out and it could grab and peel that edge out, right? That's happened to a lot of people. It's happened to me on two cars um, and it's not a fun time because you're like, oh, I don't wanna do guard work because I don't wanna damage my guards. I don't wanna ruin the factory like, um, like the factory body of the car. All right, that's fair enough. But then when you're rolling with fairly aggressive fitment, you turn your wheel, you hit a pothole or whatever, and you rip out, like you peel out your guard, you're like, oh, cool. So instead of just doing the work in the first place, I've gone and damaged my car. Now I have to go and spend the money to fix it. And once you've done that, once you've peeled it out, um, you're going to ruin your paint. There's no, oh, I hope I don't ruin my paint doing guard work. And if you give it to someone who's a professional and does it correctly and heats the paint and so on and is, you know, slow with the process, doesn't try and like go from this to this in one bend, um, you'll, you should be fine, like should be fine, right? But as soon as you crack your paint, you're stuffed because the BMW had some cracked paint on the back left and the front left. Now, I knife edged the front of the BMW in maybe like 10 passes of the uh, of the guard roller and the only paint that cracked was the front little piece about that much because it was already cracked like it just already had a crack there so as soon as it's cracked it's gonna crack it's gonna be horrible so my suggestion would be either one if you're gonna paint the car yes get guard work two if you're not gonna paint the car but you do want to run aggressive wheels and you don't want to peel your guard out go and get a professional who knows what they're doing to do it properly, heat it up, you know, be gentle, roll it out, that kind of stuff. Because you're gonna save yourself like a world of pain of when you try and save the body, go through, peel it out, ruin the paint, and then you're like, ah. I mean like very rare cases you can peel it out and it doesn't crack the paint, super, super rare cases. But even then, once you've peeled it out, it's not gonna go back looking factory, looking the way it did. So you may as well have just gone and rolled it in the first place, right? 
Now, there, there is like a train of thought of people that are like, oh, well, you know, why would I, why would I roll my guards? Like, it's perfectly good panel work. But why would you roll your guards? Or why would you put aftermarket wheels on? Why would you even buy a car like that you would modify? Why would you buy a nice car? Why wouldn't you just go and buy a Hyundai XL and just drive that? Like, why, 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 you know? So I, I do understand people that are like, no, 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 I just want to leave the guards factory. Like, to be honest, bro, unless you're rolling in a Ferrari, who cares? Like, a lot of people, like, okay, so for example, let me give you a little scenario here. You go, whatever car you're looking at next, whatever car you really would love to have, um, think about going and getting it, right? You're gonna go and get it, and the things you're gonna look at are, you know, mechanical, Ks, uh, has it been like serviced, blah, blah, blah. But then if you see that the car's sitting on some aggressive wheels, right? And you go, how does he fit those? You look in the guards, and they're already rolled, and they're not cracked paint, they're already done. This whole scenario doesn't exist, because that person's gone and spent the money on a professional to do it or learned and done it themselves well, you would go, oh, that's kind of cool. Like, I've already got the guards rolled. So it's not gonna increase value or hold value of your car by just not rolling your guards. You know, like, what, what value are you holding? It doesn't, like, weaken your guards. It doesn't make anything worse. It just makes it better. Like, it, in all scenarios, well-rolled guards on a car is a much better scenario. In my opinion, they should be rolled from factory. Like the BMW was actually kind of like that from factory and I just snapped it up to knife edge because I hate the idea of, okay, so yeah, I hate the idea of turning my wheel when I'm lowered. I love the fitment, I love the offset, I love the, the height of my car, but every time I turn a corner, I'm like, oh, kind of thing. Because you are, you are always worried you're gonna peel out your guard because you've seen your mates do it, You've seen it happen on the internet and it's always up here am i going to do that is my offset like is my fitment that aggressive are my tires that fat like you know you might not be tucking all the time but you might hit a little dip in the road and boom peeled out that's exactly what happened in the supra turned it was always fine and then it hit a dip in the road pulled it up too high ripped it out from that day ruined you know so you got to go and get it fixed then so if you can, yeah, go and get your friend to work. I mean, I, I really, like, as, as much as I say, I do understand people not doing fender work because they want to keep it factory. Like, well, bro, keep everything factory. Don't put aftermarket wheels on, just leave the stock. You know? Like, what, what? what's the harm in a bit of a roll so that you can get something a bit more aggressive? Like, we all know aggressive wheels look sick. We're, we're rolling crowns and stuff. Like, aggressive wheels on a crown look amazing. You know, so there's uh, one of the boys, you might be watching this, he goes to my gym. Uh, I think he's got factory guards and he's got really good fitment, especially for factory guards. It looks mint. And he's like, well, I'm not really going to do like guard work as far as I'm aware. Because um, he doesn't really need to. He's not slammed per se, um, but it looks really good. But I guess he is running that risk of if he does like go around a corner and like fast-ish and hits a dip, maybe, maybe it's going to peel it out. Um, you know, if he's on coilovers and it's really stiff, maybe not, but there's always that risk. If he like rolled him, he'd never have a drama, but I guarantee if he rolled him, he'd like go and chuck some spaces on him and ride it even more aggressive because you can, because it looks cool. And that's why we put wheels on the cars because it looks cool. Like I'm not putting wheels on my car just, just cause like it's cause it looks cool. And the, the more aggressive, the cooler it looks. It's the whole point in doing this car stuff, isn't it? Cause we think it's cool. We enjoy it. Yeah. All right, cool. So yeah, summary, yeah, do guard work. Go and do it. Um, when it comes to like cutting and stuff, I can understand people not wanting to do that because then you've got to do things like rust prevention. Um, and like, if you are gonna be cutting to like there, you're still running that risk of your tire grabbing it. You know, that's why, unless you're cutting the whole lip off, I would suggest a roll because that like okay so for example the bmw's lip was actually like that so when i've knife edged as much as i could in the back it's kind of gone like this so it's not flat flat it's kind of like rounded a bit but it's as much as i could do with what i had that was double um double walled so it was really hard to bend a lot of people on the bmw's like on the e46s cut out that piece and then like knife edge it and i understand that that makes a lot of sense 
um, but from what I've done, I should be able to fit something pretty aggressive on there and I won't have any issues, which is the whole point in rolling guards to avoid issues. So, you know, go with what you want to go with, like your car, your fenders, your guards, but it's also your headache if you roll around and peel out your guards because we ran some wicked wheels on your car and you hit a pothole and it just peeled it out, you know? It's not gonna be a fun time. But guys, that's my two cents on guard rolling. Uh, if you wanna see how to do it, I've got videos, I've done the E46. Um, I'll show you some examples of uh, what I mean. So I'll show you an example here of Knife Edge, which is the front of the BMW. I'll show you an example of rolled, which is the rear of the BMW. Uh, and then I'll show you an example of actually like cut, like grinder cut flat. And then like that's on the back of the crown. Which was obviously done before I had it. Uh, super stoked it was done. And when it was done, and I went and bought it, I was like, awesome, that's something I don't have to worry about. So, you know, there's a lot of factors into it. And if you just don't want to do them and you want to run kind of like weaker offset, that's your call. Like, you know, your car, cool, whatever. But uh, you do run the risk of if you are driving low, you're going to peel out your fender. And if you think that you're not, well, give it six months and then come back to me. And you'll be like, ah, oh, I peeled out my fender. And I'll be like, sweet. Now you've got to go and fix your paint and roll your fenders so that it doesn't happen again. Hopefully this gives you a bit of insight as to where my mind's at and things that I have dealt with in the past. I'm an old boy now. Like, I've done things like run slammed cars on, okay, just side note. I ran a slammed car on factory wheels and peeled the guard out. That was fun. Didn't even have cool fitment and I still peeled the guard out. Like, what? Just from lowering the car. So if you're even just lowering, I would recommend guard work. It's amazing. Like. It, it genuinely is amazing. When your guard's like that, your tire can rub against it, nothing's gonna happen. It's Gucci, you're all good, right? But like I said, yeah, my two cents on the subject. Now you can see kind of where I'm at. If you don't wanna do it, don't do it. If you wanna do it, do it. If you're going to get someone to do it, make sure they're a professional and they're going to do it correctly because you don't want just Joe Blow down the corner with a you know guard roller and he's just gonna reef it on it and then break your paint. So you wanna heat it up, you wanna do it slowly. If you're doing it yourself and you are heating it up, do it very slowly, do it on a hot day. Don't do it on a cold day because it takes way longer. Uh, obviously the heat of the day will keep the heat in the paint, so on and so forth. Um, if you can, park the car outside for a while, so like in the sun, warm it right up. Yes, the job's gonna suck because it's gonna be a hot day and you're gonna get sweaty, but that one day of sweaty means you're not gonna have high chances of cracking your paint, okay? Now, I am sorry if the camera has been bouncing around. I don't have my mount, so you guys are sitting on my dash. I'm surprised at how kind of still it's been. Um, but I hope you guys have liked the video. If you like the video, like the video, and please hit that sub button because we are 111 subs from this morning away from 2,000. I really want to hit it before Christmas, but I mean, I've only got like 19, 18 days before Christmas. That is a big number to jump in 18 days for me, uh, but I would love it if we could. And if you're one of the 85% of people that watch my videos and aren't subbed to the channel, it's all good. You can just click that button, you'll be subbed. It's free, it doesn't hurt anybody. Just makes me happy, you know? All right, guys, I'll see y'all in the next one. See you guys.